in my experience, Miguel was an incredibly evolved guy. Uh, when we for, we got the best of Miguel, we we met him when he just come you know, to the U.S. from Mexico, and I'll never forget. Linda had she had had lunch with him, and she came home, and she was she was trying to get me to go see him, and I had had I mean I had some wonderful teachers over the years, but. I'd read every book and been to every power spot on the planet and been to every seminar and watched every tape. I mean, I can't even tell you. I was a zealot for learning anything I could about, you know, who are, who are we and what are we doing here and how do we work, you know, that sort of thing and what's our place in the universe. And um, I just decided that I didn't need any more teachers. And so Linda said, well, I really want you to meet this guy. And I said, Ah, uh, you know, I don't think I want to. And she goes, "Come on, come on." She says, "She says, just call him." I told him you would call him. Just call him. That's all. And I go, "Ah, oh, all right, I'll call him." So I dial the number, and I I put on my best business voice, you know, and um, <laughs> and this I, I hear someone pick up the phone. He says, "Hello," and I go, "Oof." I go, um, hello, uh, I'm David Dibble. I believe um, that uh, my wife, Linda Dibble, uh, had lunch with uh, Miguel Ruiz, and she asked me to call. Is Miguel in, please? This is Miguel. I go, well, Miguel, um, I'm not sure why I'm calling, but uh, I told Linda I would call. Oh, yes, yes, we should meet right away. And I go, I can't meet right away. I said, I'm underwater. I'm just buried. Um, I blah, blah, blah. And he goes, oh, no, no, not right away. In one hour. <laughs> and I started laughing. It was so ludicrous. You know, I mean, his, out went the business voice. I said, and 45 minutes later, I'm driving down the street to meet this guy. He says, come to the temple. And I go, the temple? Oh, God. Now, I'm, you know, this doesn't sound good. So the temple turns out to be a little house in Hillcrest. And I go, this is no temple, you know? I mean, it's not even a great area. <laughs> so, so anyway, I knock on the front door, nobody comes. And I, you know, so I go around to the side. I'm just getting ready to knock on, the, on the, the door. And the door opens. And here's this little brown man, you know, about this tall with these big brown eyes. And uh, he says, hello. And I said, I said, uh, uh, hi, I'm looking for Miguel. I'm David Dibble. He says, hi, Miguel. I like this, and I go, OK. He says, please, come in, like this. He says, please, sit down. So in the living room, there's no furniture. I go, sit down. Mm. <laughs> well, I've been to places, you know, we've been to ashrams, and we've been to stuff like that where, you know, you sit on the floor. So I thought, all right, what the heck? So I sit down, cross-legged on the floor, and he sits down cross-legged right in front of me and didn't say anything for about probably 20 seconds or something. And I was just, we were kind of eye to eye. And I, all of a sudden I went, oh my God, it was like looking into the universe. I just went, whoa, who is this guy? So anyway, that's when I knew that he was my teacher. And so that's what got everything started. But